Hey YouTube. Well, Empire, episode 12. All right. So this episode opens up with Cookie is being rushed to the ER at the hospital. Remember last week she had a heart attack. Well, they didn't tell her it was a heart attack then, but she had a heart, they call it a mild heart attack, which means we'll still have Cookie with us. Oh, they wouldn't take time to say mild. Brought on by uh, diet and stress. So they, you can change your diet, but just as far as the stress level, that's their issue. Wait a minute, I got, hold on, my, I got to holler at the dog. Jimmy, shut up! No, what's wrong with my dog? Okay. So Andre shows up at the hospital, right? Andre didn't confess to Lucius that uh, he was the one that, that cost him a leg, tried to kill him, or blow him up. And uh, Cookie would have been in that car as well to take over this company. He confessed, and Cookie, in the excitement, had a heart attack. So, and essentially, this is Andre's fault. But her father died from a heart attack as well, so this is also genetic. Lucius goes in. He, I, th said, now, th I don't like this side of Lucius. When he's in his hospital, all the doctors, he's telling them to shut up and who you think you're talking to and I don't like all that big strong man shit. You run the company, but you're in the hospital, you're in the hospital, honey. You ask these people to save your people's life. So he goes in there acting like he's a big wig, you know, he's somebody. Everybody gotta uh, bow down and behave with him. So that was distracting for me. I don't like it, that kind of that personality trait he has. All right, so he goes into the, he's stressed out. He goes into the hospital chaplain and has him one of these uh, I hate God moments, right? I hate God. I'm mad at God. One of these. So it, uh, so he takes the crucifix with the Christ down off the wall. It's a Catholic thing. You know, the Catholics like to hang the, the actual body on the cross. Takes it off the wall. I'm so glad they didn't make him smash it. I don't like all that sacrilege shit. I know God is not in the cross or in the... In, in the uh, it ain't Jesus hanging up there. I don't like the sacrilege, though. You know, they got they need to turn it down a little bit. Anyway, he just lays it on the counter and he starts cussing at or talking rough to the Christ. So he's talking to God, talking to Jesus, talking to Christ. Y'all make it all the same, but uh, I guess he's talking to God through the cross, which he don't believe in. And the thing is, he sounds like the devil himself. He's prom promising to rain down hell on creation if this woman doesn't get better. Now, are they saying that Lucius is actually the devil? They had a couple of episodes where they called him the devil. But now, this, now he, this is literally going through his mind. Now he thinks he is the devil and he has some kind of power. All right. Next thing we see is Eddie's second wife. You know, Eddie's had three wives. He's got his eye on Tiana for number four. This woman is showing an apartment that they own together. They're going to sell it. Eddie's in severe money, having severe money problems. I forget what, what fell apart for him, but he has to sell this apartment. He doesn't want to. So they're showing the place. She's stressed out. You know, she wants money. The other, the other wife wants money. Apparently, Eddie's keeping all this stuff afloat. So he's got this this scam he's going to pull, but selling Empire. That's his plan. Uh, of course, Cookie, she, they've got her... Um, they've got her on bed rest. For, I think this ain't a week, but who knows how long it can go on. She is not happy with it. She cannot be still. She's antsy, and she wants work to do. That's a great feeling, to have work, have something you need, to, something that gives you passion. That's what's missing in my life. But this is not about me. We're talking about Cookie. She wants to get back to work, right? And she has now, Lucius has called the three sisters in. Two sisters in, I'm sorry. 
and they are in charge of making her rest, making sure she doesn't. She's not on on online communicating stuff. Uh, I know one of them's care off at the other girl. Anyway, so she's antsy. Andre comes in there and uh, apologizes to her about all this that he's caused. He's holding up relatively well considering his mental state and considering what he's really done. This is something that really should put him back in the crazy house. But she says uh, uh, something like, I hope it's enough. Yeah. She accepts his apology. She says, I believe you. I, I just hope it's enough. In other words, enough to bring them him back into their lives. So everybody's uh, upset with Andre and they all should be. He tried, to, he tried to kill them. Okay, but they are murderers now. We have to keep that in mind as well. All Andre is doing is what Lucius does. Lucius had a daddy who was in charge of Empire, and he wanted Empire. He'd kill his ass too. So, I mean, that's just something <laughs> that we have to take into consideration. Becky tells Jamal that he can't record. Okay, they want him off this project because of this killing. We won't call it the murder. We call it the killing. That he participated and he killed somebody, and uh, she wants. She thinks he needs to get a formal, formal apology. She makes arrangements for him to appear on Good Morning America to apologize for what happened. I mean, this was the guy who was to be mayor of New York City. He doesn't like the idea, but Cookies is on the uh, uh, little phone thing. He can hear, he, he, she, she can hear and she interjects in the meeting that he's having with Becky and telling him, yes, you need to do this. Company needs it. Right? He agrees to do it. Miss mm -hmm. uh, Becky, she decided to have an abortion. So the first person she tells is Jamal, which is her good friend. Uh, and he decides to support her and he doesn't judge what she's doing. He doesn't share his opinion. But uh, that's the one she trusts so far. She's going to make a couple of, she's going to tell a couple of people in this, put it like that. We'll get to that in a moment. All right. Andre tells Shine about what he did. He says, he starts off, uh, good thing he got some distance between him. When he says, I, I told Lucius everything because Shine's impulse would have been to, probably to dislocate his neck. But there was he was a ways away from him. And then Andre quickly tells him, I left you out of it. Your name is clear and we're done. I ain't going to argue with you about it no more. This is through. He gets uh, Shine to agree that it's over. It's done. Forget about it. You're not in it. And... Uh, and um, Shine agrees. <clears throat> because Lucius would have had him killed, if you know, of his part in it. That's not his son. All right, Andre discovers. Next thing we see is Andre is going over the books, and he discovers a problem with the books. This is the first hint he gets that about what Eddie's up to. So he asks Eddie, and Eddie keeps avoiding the, the, the question, turning it around. But I think you're such a good guy. You should be the head of Empire and all this kind of stuff. So Andre's suspicious and he digs further. But, uh, you know, Eddie doesn't confess to anything. He just uh, skirts around the questions he's asking him about the books, about what he can see that, uh, he can see that, Eddie is setting something up. Even he can see that something to do with selling the company. Okay. Next thing we see is Becky. She tells Big Papa about the baby. Big Papa is in love. He's hurt. He's already upset that she has broken up with him. And he slams his hands into the desk or something. Why did you break up with me? Why did you dump me? Because he didn't understand what happened. And she blurts out, I'm pregnant. And then in a lower voice, she tells that she plans on not having this baby. 
She thinks her life is too complicated right now. She can't stop to have a baby. Becky is finally the head of uh, a and a and R. They call it, yeah, acquisitions. She finally got the job that she's always wanted, and she doesn't want to stop to have a child. So she made the decision to, to have this abortion. We don't see in this episode her changing her mind. My guess would be, and in, in, you know how drama is, they're probably going to be. She's going to change her mind at the last minute or something. But we don't see it in this episode. She goes down to the to the clinic, abortion clinic. She's got Jamal with her for support, and they have a little romantic scene where where uh, Big Papa runs into the abortion clinic and says he he doesn't want to be with her. He didn't agree with what she's doing, but he wants to support her, and he don't want he doesn't want to be broken up. He is in love with Miss Becky. Bless her heart, <laughs> and he got a nice body on him. <laughs> All right, that's neither here nor there. Okay. Jamal does his little interview with the girl. They used a real woman from Good Morning America. I don't know her name. The light-skinned tall girl with the short hair. Uh, I, I don't know why I don't know her name. Well, I never watched that show, but okay. So they show him uh, interviewing with this woman. She's very direct, asking him about how could you kill that man and such and such. And he eventually walks out of the interview and this is shown on those big screens on Times Square you know which means it's shown everywhere but um, yeah he walks out uh, okay Cookie cannot be still she wants to work so she arranges to basically bring out studio the whole studio into Lucia's house where she's at. They set up a studio in the living room and she gets commences to producing uh, Tiana and Hakeem's record for this new project they're working on, right? Uh, now, let's give some, we want to acknowledge uh, a prophet in this. <laughs> From the very beginning, okay, I got to tell you, sidebar now. From the very beginning, okay, when I started watching YouTube, there was one reviewer that I really enjoyed his reviews on a certain show, and that was James Caldwell when he did Empire. That's why I do it now, because I, I, I thought, well, that's something I would like to do. But anyway, he would always call this boy, Hakeem, the little boy with the big shoes. Now, I don't know where he came up with that name. He would always call him the little boy with the big shoes, right? Here's why I'm calling him a prophet. Because they're working on the song, and the song is called Big Shoes. <laughs> him and this girl, Tiana, is working on this song called Big Shoes. It will be him called Big Shoes. So I don't know what the connection there is. Is it mystical? I don't, I don't know. I thought I mentioned that. All right, then Andre tells Cookie and Lucius, Okay, Andre breaks in. You know, he's he's on he's in the doghouse. He comes into the house and tells Lucius and Cookie that he has to talk to them. They both say, Andre, we don't have time for that right now. You know, go ahead. We didn't kill you. Be happy. And uh, he says, no, I must talk to you. So this is Andre's saving, saving path. He tells him about what, uh, what Eddie's been up to, that Eddie is planning to sell that company from underneath them. They confront Eddie. All three of them. They bring Eddie into the house. Eddie goes in this thing. Oh yeah, I, I should have told you about it. I've been working on this deal. They're going to sell. They're going to buy it for uh, this huge, huge price. He didn't. I don't know why they didn't just give us a price. Money is always fun to talk, talk about a hundred million or whatever. But he overplayed his hand and started going into this thing about how everybody was laughing at them, they, how Empire was a joke and all this kind of shit and got under the, both of them's skin, right? But we haven't seen the end of Eddie because they, they just let him walk out of there. Lucius got up and walked around. They, and they're forgetting to give Lucius a limp. He still got a false leg. He's walking around like he, he's back to his old self. They forgot all about the leg. Anyway. So he Eddie says something that offends Lucius. He jumps up to him, but nothing happens. So I know there's got to be a better scene than that for, for for what he was up to. 
Probably they're going to kill Eddie or shoot him in the head or do something. Anyway, I have a feeling he's going to be in at least one more episode. All right. Eddie runs his mouth too much. Got downplaying, down talking Empire, saying how they're nothing, how they're a joke and all this, and how he's going to make the company be huge. Well, if he's going to sell the company, I guess he wants uh, Lucius and them to work for this other dude. <laughs> Lucius throws him out of the house. After that, it's just about Cookie sicking through thirsty on him to, to find out more about this deal. So that'll be our scene, big scene for next week. All right, that was Empire. Episode, what was it? What was it? Episode 12. All right, talk to you guys later or next week.